Trigeminal neuralgia is facial pain that affects one half of the face that's triggered by activities such as chewing, brushing, shaving, touching, wind, cold air. It's often episodic and intermittent, meaning it comes and goes, and it's classically described as being sharp, electrical, or stabbing, and patients will feel like they're getting electrocuted or shocked in the face. Trigeminal neuralgia uh, can be caused by various reasons, and sometimes the exact cause is not very clear. We know that the nerve doesn't work normally, but usually the dysfunction is, comes and goes. It's intermittent. So sometimes it's thought to be caused by an abnormal loop of a blood vessel that's leaning on the nerve and rubbing up against the covering of the nerve and causing uh, the nerve to fire in an abnormal way and cause pain. Other times there is no such blood vessel that's obviously seen on the nerve doing that. There are times when the trigeminal neuralgia is actually caused by a tumor, uh, something structural that's actually pushing on it that shouldn't be there at all, rather than a normal blood vessel. Um, and, and so oftentimes the exact cause is not very clear. And for that reason, the diagnosis is actually made really leaning heavily on talking to the patient and actually understanding what is the facial pain like? What brings it on? How long does it last? Uh, what makes it worse? What makes it better? How does it respond to medication? All those factors actually are very important in the diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia. Medication management is the mainstay of treatment for trigeminal neuralgia pain. For many individuals, medication management is sufficient to keep the pain under control for a lifetime. In individuals where the pain management strategies with medications are not sufficient, there are three options that we offer as neurosurgeons. The first is called stereotactic radiosurgery, otherwise known as cyber knife or gamma knife. This is focused radiation to the trigeminal nerve. There's no anesthesia, there's no cutting, it's just high energy radiation delivered in a focal way to the trigeminal nerve. This treatment is effective in, a, in up to 70% of individuals. And the average duration of benefit in terms of pain relief is on the order of a few years. The second procedure is called a glycerin rhizotomy. This is an outpatient surgery where individuals with trigeminal neuralgia get put to sleep. A small needle is inserted into the cheek and threaded up to the base of the skull. Once the trigeminal nerve is identified, a material called glycerin is injected through the needle. The glycerin coats the nerve and helps prevent the pain impulses from being transmitted to the, to the brain. The needle is taken out, the procedure is usually just a few minutes long, and patients get to leave the hospital the same day. This procedure helps up to 80% of individuals, and again, the average duration of benefit is usually a few years. The third procedure is called a microvascular decompression. This is the most, what we consider, definitive treatment option, and has the longest potential for pain-free living and potentially curative for life. What this is, is in individuals where there's a blood vessel on the preoperative imaging, compressing the trigeminal nerve, we attempt to separate the two using little cushions made of Teflon. In order to do this, we make a small incision behind the ear make a small opening in the skull, and under the microscope, slip in little cushions to separate the blood vessel from the nerve. This procedure helps 80% of people, and a vast majority of those individuals can have long-term pain relief. Surgery is used when medications are no longer working well to control the pain, or if the medications themselves are causing too many side effects. And so for the majority of people, we do encourage a trial of medication management that's often guided by the primary care physician or neurologist who has experience in taking care of facial pain. If and when the medications are ineffective or causing too many side effects, that's when we encourage individuals to explore surgical options. In particular, we ask them to explore it before the symptoms become too pronounced or too severe.
At Johns Hopkins, we really believe on patient-centered care. The patient is at the center of all our considerations for what we offer and what we design in terms of a treatment plan. So coming to Johns Hopkins gives you options and is really tailored to what an individual patient wishes. The previous history comes into play uh, very much with respect to previous procedures, previous medication trials, uh, what, uh, how effective other treatments have been, what has the course of the trigeminal neuralgia been in the past. All that historical information is actually taken into account and is very important in selecting the best treatment option for an individual patient. So I believe that having all those options is actually uh, quite useful uh, for patients uh, when they have something so debilitating like trigeminal neuralgia and they wish to get the best care possible and move on and get back to their lives.